So Adobe released their latest version of Premiere Pro CC version 2017, and there's just a ton of new features, which are all really exciting, and they're beta testing their new social panel, which I need to check out. But one thing I was really kind of ex surprisingly excited to see is the new sh uh, keyboard shortcut map feature. And it's just this new layout, which I think is just way, way better than what they used to have, which was essentially just a list. When I would come into the keyboard shortcuts and try to search for a keyboard shortcut, it just seemed very counterintuitive and not easy to find what you're looking for. And now, you know, being that this is a visual medium, it's kind of nice to have a way to visualize all your keyboard shortcuts. So if you look at it here, you can quickly see well, the colors, you have purple and green. You have different ways to look at, uh, the, the purple is just basically showing you all of the application keyboard shortcuts, whereas the green denotes these are keyboard shortcuts that are specific to certain panels. And if you flip down these commands, drop down menu box here, you'll see that you can switch to look at just keyboard shortcuts for panels. So if I clicked on the uh, timeline panel, oh, well, there's not that many there. If I switch to the titler panel, you can see there's all these different um, shortcuts for this specific panel. And if you look down here, panel shortcuts uh, override the application shortcuts when the panel has focus. So let's go back to application. Now let me show you something cool, which is, I don't, well first of all, if you look at the tooltips, as I mouse over each of these, it shows you a quick tooltip preview of the application shortcut, basically all the shortcuts associated with that particular key. So that's one quick way you can just mouse over and get some information. But what I like is that you can just simply press keys, and here I'm pressing, here I'm going to hold down, uh, let's do the F key. So I'm holding, if you look, it's, it's, as I press it, it's being selected here. And if you look down here, it gives you another list of showing you everything that is associated with this key and even the modifier keys. So if you press if you press shift F, you know, it shows your keyboard shortcut here um, or with no modifier keys. So that's really cool. You can quickly just kind of punch around in different keys. But one thing that I find really, really cool is that if I hold down a modifier key, I'm going to hold down the command key. I'm going to max. So I'm going to hold down the command key. And now as you see, I'm holding down the command key. It automatically shows me all of the shortcuts that I can hit with this modifier command key in conjunction with this and, and shows you what they'll do, which is great. So I'm going to release that. Now when I hit the alt key or the option key, check that out, you know, and switch in between. Now control and shift. So this is just way, way better than the previous version's way of looking at keyboard shortcuts. Um, really, really impressed. And I think just by one way I'm going to use this is just to simply look and holding down the modifier keys in particular just to quickly look at what shortcuts are available that I might not have been using which may be uh, beneficial and also if you wanna you know as before if you wanna save out or customize any of your keyboard shortcuts you can just select and then either delete or add you can actually add multiple uh, commands so if I hit like uh, command O wait here we go Oh yeah, you have to like click in there and select it. So now you see I've added another one here um, to this shortcut here. But I don't want to do that. I'll delete that. And also the same, you can uh, same feature as well. You can save out your custom uh, keyboard layout preset. And that's another thing is that apparently Adobe automatically detects the keyboard setup that you're working with. So it's another great feature. All right, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. See you next week.